Hello everyone, welcome back to Stalker Lost Alpha. So currently what I want to do is explore the rest of the forest, which I think is mostly going to consist of this building here, and then I want to see if I can come up around here and perhaps get up here to these buildings. They might be completely inaccessible, I'm not sure, but I want to try it. And maybe check out these little pond areas along the way, just see if there's anything special there, any artifacts or something like that. And then after that, I'm going to take the music that I found in the composer's home and bring it back to Kurglov. So, since the last episode, I've sorted all of the loot. I took all of the guns from the bandits and stuffed them in the car. I also grabbed the fuel, the two fuel can canisters that I had left, and also put them in here. And I also turned on sun rays. Which you can probably notice. They're very, very pretty. Yeah, someone suggested I turn them on because they look very pretty. And uh, indeed they do. This time I can actually see them. Because uh, before I couldn't because the weather was stuck. On something that didn't even have the sun. Like the sun really wasn't part of the equation. So there were no sun rays to even be seen. But now that the weather is working. It's actually quite pretty. And it works. Of course it's not very good for performance. But uh. Oh well, we'll see how it is. It's morning in the zone. Okay, so... Head to the road, take a left, head up to this building. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> Let's avoid those anomalies. Don't want to go up into the air like a plane today. Don't feel like it. It's still early. Let's save that for later in the day. By the way, that uh, skit I just did? That's what happens when you simply slow down. That's all I did. I just... I just braked. And it made me do that slide. I just realized I need to eat. And drink. And I'm getting radiation. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's totally normal. I want that artifact. Come to me. Actually, I think there's two. Looks like maybe a jellyfish and a parasite. Oh, stone flower. Okay. Yep, green parasite. That's what I thought. Jesus, this thing skids every time you try to break. Alright. Pretty much there. I suppose I could take it through the forest. Yeah, why not? Might find some bandits there or something. In which case, I would like to have this nearby so I can stuff all the weapons in the trunk. Wait, is this one inaccessible too? Aw, oh, shit. Yeah, I can't even get to this one. Man! It was just teasing me on the map, look at that. Ah. Oh. Well, shit. Okay, let's see if I can go up here to get to these buildings, although I seriously doubt it. It feels unlikely, but let's try it anyway. Let's get back to the road. There's something at the pond, is there? Oh, yeah, there's something. Some sort of a mutant, but uh, I don't really care to engage it. Unless... Hmm, they might have body parts I can use. Nah, that's fine.
Okay. Let's see. Alright, so we go this way. Yep, just continue on down the road until pretty much the very end. To see if I can get up there. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. full speed, which I'm probably going to regret. Wait, which way do I go? Oh, just straight. Wait, this road isn't even on the map, is it? Uh, yeah, I guess it kind of is. Kind of covered by the trees, I suppose. Uh-oh. Oh, God. I'm just gonna go really, 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 really fast. And hope. Okay, yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, no, I'm not good. I'm not good. Oh, fuck. Please don't explode. Okay, I hit a tree. I hit a tree. That's good. That's my parachute. And perfect. Car stalled, but that's, uh... Acceptable, given what just happened. Man, those things have some range. Jeez. Okay, I'm almost there. Oh, crap. Radiation spot. I just heard one of those cat things. Ooh, green parasite. Yoink. Okay, so continue down the road and then take a right and see if I can get up here. Man, the shadows in this forest seem unnaturally dark. Alright, let's take a right. You know, maybe I can get up there, actually. Jesus Christ, come on. Looks like this thing's made out of rubber. And it's stalled. Come on. Come on, old girl, you can do it. Ah, oh, shit, that's a fence, isn't it? No! Fuck! Man, I wish those were marked on the map better so you could really tell where you can go and where you can't. Alright, where does that lead? Dark Valley? Do I want to go to the Dark Valley? Not really. Okay, well, it's time to head all the way up. Let's go. Okay, I'm finally here. Man, that took a really, really long time. So I went from the bottom of the forest all the way to the top, went left to the Great Metal Factory slash bar area, and then, instead of taking the entrance here to go to the uh, Lake Yantar, that doesn't really work for vehicles, so I had to go up to the army warehouses and then left to the Dead City, and then finally down to Lake Yantar, which is where I'm currently at. Oh my god, that took a long time. I uh, flipped my car many times, randomly died a couple times, got thrown into the air a couple times. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. 
I never want to experience that again. Okay. Well, I've got the music. Let's give it to him, and let's see if I can buy some fuel and stuff. Also, I want to buy all the recipes that the scientist guy has for artifacts. And I want to see if I can make anything. Oh, fuck off. Shit, I think he's under my car. They're gumming up the works. Is there one under my car? I feel like there might be one under, under my car. Stuck in my grill. Oh crap. Whew. Okay, he let me go. Oh shit, no, no, stop, 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 stop. Oh fuck, I didn't want to... Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> I forgot, you do not want to go into that ditch. Um, I don't want to go into that bush. Gotta go this way. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. It's okay. I swear having a car is more trouble than it's worth. If it weren't for the fact that I could ferry weapons back and forth, I would not even bother. Okay. Hi. Let me guess, he's going to give me like 500 bucks and a tin of beans. Here's the music sheet. Splendid, good job, I'm a huge fan, this is so big for me, you have no idea. Here's a token of my appreciation. Okay, 8,000 is relatively good when it comes to quests. But it does not it's not enough to make it feel worth it, honestly. I would have liked more like 20,000. Okay. No problem, Doc. Now let's buy every single damn recipe he has. Hello! Balloon. Whoa, you have a gun too? I didn't even know you had a gun. Bouquet. And cuttlefish. Okay. Any jobs? Uh, don't really care. The missions honestly seem to not really matter at all. I mean, aside from the main quest, it just seems like they don't really give you much. Not enough to make it worth it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot, I kind of need AP. Ah, he doesn't have any. It does have some standard rounds, though, but then again, I'm not low on that. Um, I'll buy a little bit. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can make anything. some of these in here. I don't need all of them. Stack, the, whoops. Stack some of the ammo in there, not all of it. Okay. Let's take every single thing I can use for crafting. All the monster parts. And the case. Okay. Alright, what can I make? Yes? Yes, I can make this. Okay, what does it do? Gives me radiation and... I mean, gives me explosion and bulletproof cap, cap protection, but increases radiation... Increases radiation, uh... 
or decreases radiation protection? Is that protection or is that just straight up radiation? I'm not... Hold on. Because I have one that works against radiation. See, this one says minus 10 radiation, not minus 10%, but minus 10. I'm confused. Is it like per second? Like plus 10% radiation per second, plus minus 10% radiation per second? I don't know. Yeah, this one's radiation plus 3, not plus 3%, but plus 3. So what is plus 5%? I don't understand. What does it mean? <laughs> this bouquet of neatly colored spines isn't the best gift for your love interest unless you crave for her death. Alright, what else can I make? Nope. Ah, yeah. Rupture protection. I think I already could make this one before, right? Yeah, don't care about it that much. There's really not that much I can make. Ah, I need a snork foot for this one. I'm really not entirely sure what the hell rupture protection actually means. Uh, what's the other one I can make? Is it Sauron's Eye? Wait, this is the one that used... Yeah, this uses one of my endurance... things. Uh, endurance artifacts that I'm currently using, which I really don't want to use up. What does this use? Yeah, I mean, that seems worth it. It's not exactly amazing, but... Yeah, what the hell. Let's let's do it. I want to see what this does. Okay, so four hours remaining. I suppose I could sleep. That's obviously game time, not real-world time, thankfully. Okay, I'm assuming I can only do one at one time. Most likely. Do I need to keep the case on me? Most likely not. Honestly, it's actually not very heavy at all. It's only 0 0.25. In fact, the artifact merger weighs less than a single energy drink. Which <laughs> makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, but anyway. Yeah, I don't know whether I need to keep this stuff in my inventory either. I probably don't, but just to be careful, I'm just going to leave it. Okay. Talk to Barkeep. Going into unexplored territory here. This takes me where? To the swamps. Okay, that's not unexplored, but then after that, it will be unexplored. Let's go. And as soon as I get to the Barkeep, I need to buy as much fuel as possible, because I'm kind of running low. Mm, I don't think I can take this vehicle under here. <laughs> Let's see if it fits. This would be a miracle. Holy shit, it works! Oh. Never mind. Gotta go around. I'm the best driver ever. Who needs guide when you have me? Could taxi you from place to place? Charge you a premium for my incompetence?
Holy shit, there's a lot of mutants here. I didn't mean to honk my horn. But, uh, eh, why not? Hey, mutants, I'm over here. Come and get me. I think they're deaf. Okay, opposite side, so I can just go along here. Can I actually drive the vehicle in the fucking swamps? Um, let's see if I can stay on the side here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Suppose I can drive in the water. I think it makes it super slow, though. Ugh. Ugh. What the hell was... The fucking foot just fell in the water. I'm not even gonna ask. I'm just gonna keep going. Almost at the halfway point. You can do it, I believe in you. Car whose name I still have not come up with. Uh. Okay, halfway. Oh shit. I didn't even see it. Please let me go. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Artifact. What are you? Uh, meat chunk? Yeah, meat chunk. Yes, yes, rar, rar, rar. Big monster. Shit. Well, this is bad. I'm out of fuel. Whoa, oh, Jesus. Where the fuck did those come from? Snuck up on me. At least I can do is have body parts. Ah, they don't. That's right, my last canister. Let's see how my merging is going. Ah, quite a bit of time left. Okay, thank god. Somewhere new, too. Never been here before. I think this is the outskirts of Pripyat, right?
We shall see in about 3, 2, 1. Eh, it looks pretty. Take a look at the map. Well, it says Chernobyl. Wait, that's... This can't be Chernobyl. This is Chernobyl? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, there's a town of Chernobyl, and then there's a Cher Chernobyl power plant. So this is the town of Chernobyl, I think? Because this is certainly not the power plant. This is the power plant. I think. It's gotta be. I'm not sure what the hell the V.I. Lenin thing is, but, uh... Yeah, that's the only thing big enough to be it, plus it says... Well, Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Which is a pretty good giveaway, you know? <laughs> Alright, oh, where have I not been? Um, I think I've actually been to most places. So, okay, Chernobyl, I just came here. I don't think I've been to Radar. I haven't been to Countryside. Or Concrete Factory. Or, eh, actually, there's quite a few places. There's also generators up here. Oh god, that takes you to X Lab X2. Sounds like a bundle of fun. Okay, what is this? Duty Hideout. Alright, let's go visit the barman. It's a beautiful sunny day. Take the dog for a walk, go for a jog. Now this place actually genuinely looks nice. Doesn't seem to be filled with anomalies. Clean streets. Good for driving. A nice place to set up a bar. I am interested in perusing your fine establishment, sir. Dingy as fuck, though. Man, it's dark. I'm assuming they're giving him encouragement for playing a really awesome song. I love the lonely, dark guitar songs they play in Stalker. Okay, I think I need to go down. Guys rocking the harmonica? Yeah!
I think he just spit on it to clean it. <laughs> it's actually a cool little detail. Okay, how do I go down? Uh... Whoa! The fuck? Shit, is that a blowout? No, seems fine. Hmm. Um, I think I have to go outside. Ah, here we go. The entrance is right here. Can I come in, stalker? Greetings, stalker. How can I help you? I'm the marked one. Colonel, uh, colonel. Colonel Petrenko sent me to see Barkeep and Veronin. Ah, so you're marked one. Come on in. I'm sure he's expecting you. Welcome to the new 100 Rads Bar. At least we can play pool here. Thank you. I hear a radio. Uh. Fucking radios. Um, let's see. I'll take that. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Yeah, this place looks decent. Let's take a look around, take in the sights. Some weird posters in this place. Firestarter? The hell is that? Fictional movie? Well, if it isn't my old mate, the marked one. I don't remember who you are. Uh, I mean, y good to see you made it out of there. Yes, and thanks to you, I still have my baby. Oh, is that the guy the um, the guy I returned the weapon to and he gave me the suit? I think it is. Don't mention it. Stay safe. Oh, shit. Maybe a blowout's about to happen. What the hell are those people? American Conquest? Can I actually play pool? Because I'd love to. I don't think I can. Hmm. Oh, it's Petranga. I thought it was going somewhere secret. <laughs> it's gonna try to steal stuff. Holy shit, is that a grenade launcher? You realize using that down here would be kinda dangerous to everybody, right? Including yourself? Glad to see you made it, Marked One. We got word that you managed. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I'm here in one piece. I can see that. Well, I'm busy gauging the damage done to my business. It's a mess for everyone. We lost many good men during the attack. The delicate balance of power has shifted in freedom's favor. And let me tell you, duty isn't happy. Why don't you go speak to Veronin in the back room while you're at it? We've got a problem. A big one. Alright, hold on. Oh, hello. Holy shit. Is that... Is that what I think it is? Is that exoskeleton armor? Oh my god. Oh my... Carry capacity plus 20 kilograms percent. Plus 20 kilograms percent? What? No, it's plus 20 kilograms. Ignore the percent. Yes. Holy shit. You sell everything in the goddamn universe, man. Shit, I can probably buy happiness from you. GP37. Oh shit, I can put a grenade launcher on the GP37. Look at this. Hell yeah. Alright, I need to make some purchases. Some pur purchase eye. That's the plural of purchase, right? Purchase eye? I don't suppose you sell a weapon better than mine, do you? I don't think it's possible. Actually, you don't even sell a weapon as good as mine, do you?
No, the best assault rifle he's got is this one. Well, I guess... Eh, this is technically an assault rifle. It's supposed to be that, but even that is nowhere near my current weapon. And I've already got a good sniper in my back. In my back. <laughs> in my... <laughs> in my back? What the fuck does it even mean? What, did I use it to replace my spine? In my truck, I mean. I've got uh, this one, I think. Okay, well, let's buy... S Actually, I've got, like, no room because I've got all this shit here. So... Why don't we take a nap? I'm just taking a nap on the bar floor. Please, nobody piss on me. Uh, just in case it's not clear, by the way, the reason I'm taking a nap on the bar floor is so that I can finish with the transconfigurumation of my artifact. Go away, creepiness. Go away. There we go. Oh, it worked. Blue... Wait. Oh, fuck. Half product of an artifact transmutation. Apparently the blue color comes from microbes, which interfered with the, tra interfered with the transmutation process. Scientists believe that this artifact can be used as an ingredient for artificial transmutation, but there's no way to contain that. For the research is needed. In other words, it failed. Okay, well, might as well try again. Uh, what was it? Was it this one? I think it was this one. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a timer or something. I thought it was like a, the world's tiniest CRT. Hey, you've made it! I've heard from Colonel Petranko that everything is sorted out at the bar. Well, as good as they can be. It's all lost for now. The mutants are flooding the place just like how it was before we established the bar. The wild territory has re-emerged. However, we can't... we can't de bleh. Let's try that again. However, we, ca we can't dwell on it with the situation at hand. Mind hearing me out, Marked One? Sure. As you know, the way to Pripyat and beyond is covered with deadly psi emissions due to the brain scorcher. It's been like that since the zone existed. Sometimes the strength of them increases or falls at certain intervals. But it's the same pattern. But after all that scavenging in the old laboratories Petrenko has done, way before X-18 and, uh, and, and others, we've discovered how to shut the system down. We need someone that has proven himself, and you're the finest man I've seen so far for such a mission. There's going to be disagreement amongst my men, but I want the Scorcher to be deactivated. Even if Freedom wants the same thing. That contraption has been the bane of human existence for too long. Go and see Ivankov for more information. I marked his location on your map. Alright, I'll do my best. Please tell me you have unlimited money. You don't, shit. Uh, I'm not- whoa. Oh hey, it's got physics. Look at that! Get this thing swinging and we have a dramatic interrogation scene in a dark room. Yeah, uh, who do I sell my shit to now? Because... The bartender's not going to give me very much, and Petrenko's all the way back at the friggin' old bar, which I do not want to go to. Hmm. But there's a way to find the password for that. Whoa! I can just take his weapons out of his vault and he doesn't even care? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Alright, uh, where's this guy? Please tell me he's not like a million miles away. Please, please. I'm mashing keys. Here, here we go. Okay, he's not. Yeah, perhaps there's someone at the duty hideout that I can sell my stuff to. I 
not like the sound of that rumble. Where the hell did I put my vehicle? Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way, it's this way. I'm overloaded, I can't sprint. And those sniper rifles are worth far too much to dump. There it is. Okay, um... No, I don't want to do I was thinking I could sell the weapons to the barkeep while I trade for stuff, but... No, he's going to give me a bad price regardless of whether I'm trading him for stuff or not. Let's dump all this stuff back. And hopefully the transmutation process continues, even when it's stuck in my truck. Okay, now I'm good on weight. Now I need a grenade... Well, I want a grenade launcher, and I need fuel. And some AP rounds, too. Okay, uh... There's a grenade launcher. uses M209 grenades. Do you have them? Please tell me he sells them. I don't see them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think he does sell grenades. At least for a grenade launcher. He sells plain grenades, but that's not what I need. Okay. Alright, let's buy all the AP. I'm good on normal ammo, that's fine. Alright, let's take a look at the suits. So, if I'm gonna buy something, it's probably gonna be an exoskeleton. It's gotta be something really, really good. Military armored suit, damn, that thing is fine. Exoskeleton is probably going to be the best one, although, look, there's actually different types. Hold on, this one's slightly more expensive and looks different. So that's what? 1,000, 10,000? That's 100,000. Okay, what's the difference between these two? This one has less bulletproof. L much less explosion. Less chemical burn. What the hell? Yeah, that makes no sense at all. This exoskeleton here is more expensive. The description is exactly the same, but it's worse in every single way, except it's lighter. By five kilograms, but... Man, you're taking a big hit. The thing about exoskeleton suits, though, is that they don't actually protect you against radiation and stuff like that very well. Not not bad, but not great. Like, plus 50% compared to this. Plus 80%. Right now it's 90% uh, radiation protection. This one's only 30%. Yeah, this is more suited for combat. But you know what? Just based on the carry capacity alone... Yeah, I want the exoskeleton. Absolutely. This military armored suit is actually more expensive than an exoskeleton. What a crock of shit. Okay, uh, have any jobs? Eliminate the mercs. Ooh! I'll take that. Get some more weapons? Sure. They're in Darkscape, okay. 
I'm assuming it's on a timer. Actually, they're not. Okay, that's good. Let's see where that is. Where's the darkscape? What the hell is the darkscape? Oh, these people? But I already killed them. Didn't I? There is no way I'm going all the way there. I already killed people there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how fucking far away that is. No. Hell no. I am not going there. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What's that symbol here? Outskirts bar? It's like a symbol of a dude. A sideways dude. Weird. I think I'm actually gonna keep the AP. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Let's go ahead and put this on. Beautiful. And I think I might have some grenades for that. Was it 209? Mm, how do I even switch to it? No, it's not ammo type. Uh, mode? No. I don't actually know how to switch to the grenade launcher. Firing mode does not work. Ammo type, I don't think, works. No, that'd be far too slow to switch ammo types anyway. How the hell do you shoot the grenade? Uh. Maybe I don't have the right grenade type? No, it uses 209. It's actually quite heavy, too. Which means if I'm not going to use it, I probably shouldn't have it. I'll keep it on there anyway. Hmm. Alright, let's go meet this dude. Get the deets. I fucking hate that. Get the deets. Ugh. I'm making fun of it, but I feel disgusting just having said it. It should literally be a crime to say that. Literally be a crime. As in, you will go to jail. Oh! Bailout! Shooting up my car. You motherfuckers. Sure wish I could use my grenade launcher. There's a bunch more of them. Shit, is there no way in this damn fence? Crap. I hesitated because it wasn't shooting me.
Okay, there's one more. And I just heard a reload. And that problem is now gone. Some more weapons for my lovely weapon collection. <laughs> Looks like I caught them when they're trying to deal with some dogs. Aw, she's smoking. Put her back up. And back on the road. Wait. Why was I even going this direction? Oh, it was just to get to this road, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Wait. I was going to grab you. I thought I was forgetting something. Something didn't feel right. What the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, once again, I have to go underground. So where in the hell is the entrance? <laughs> Hello? Customer service? Here we go. What the fuck kind of a room is this? This one needs to even out the floor. Oh. I'm guessing this door works. Right? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Nice, that's the storage room, I guess. Where you discard old bed frames and a bed of water. I like what you've done with the place. How did you find this place, Docker? I'm not going to gun you down, but if you don't have a reason to be here, I suggest you move along. Excuse me? You're my friend. The freaking duties love me. And that's how you greet me? Dick. General Verona sent me here for debriefing, debriefing on the Scorcher situation. I am Marked One. Oh, my apologies. I didn't know. Well, Marked One, here's the situation. We need to disable the emitters, which are causing the, uh, causing and broadcasting the massive psi emission fields blocking the way to the center. You'll need a way to protect you from these emissions. Go and see Professor Sakharov back in Yantar. He can help you out with one of the psi helmet. God, fuck, God, fucking, fuck. Okay. Hold your horses there. Turning off the brain scorchers emitters is not enough. This is, uh, there's a sort of backup scorcher which is under the lost factory within the X-16 lab beneath it. Before you shut off the Scorcher, X-16 needs to be shut down or else the radar antenna will be will still be operational. The scientists will help you, help you out with that as it comes. They're as eager as anyone to shut down the blasted things. 
Can I sell stuff to you? Mm, well, he does have a lot of money. Not unlimited, though. Yeah, it looks like he gives me full price, I think. Eh, uh, maybe not, I'm not sure. I can't believe I have to go all the way back to Yantar. I don't want to go to Yantar. Please, no. I feel like the NBCs deliver nothing but disappointing news to me. It's like, great job, Marked One. Now just travel two hours back the way you came, go retrieve a key or a helmet, and then come back here, okay? Goodbye. It's like, no, please, no. I don't want to. Wait, get the Psy helmet. Hold on, why is it telling me to go here? Oh yeah, that's where I came from. It was kind of throwing me for a loop because I thought, I'm going down, aren't I? I am, but the entrance to go down is just off to the left for some reason. So to the swamps to Yantar and then back to the swamps and then back here. It's not horrible. I've driven worse, but it's a pretty far away, especially given how slow it is to go through the swamps. Oh well. I can deal with it. Let's we'll see how this thing's going. Okay, yeah, it does continue to process even when you don't have it in your inventory. Sweet. Hopefully, fruitful things come from this. Although I hope it doesn't turn it into fruit. That would not be what I wanted it to mutate into. Although if it's a delicious tasting fruit that I can cultivate and plant and make special trees of and then sell as my own special fruit and start a business selling fruit, my own special fruit, that would be pretty cool. I was just reading that joke in the bottom left. That is the exact same joke I heard like 10 hours ago. Come up with new material, man, you're a shitty comedian. Okay, well, I'm going to end this episode here. And when I return, I will have completed the journey. Back to Yantar. And hopefully dealt with all of the driving. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.